What's up chickens? How y'all doing today? Y'all in your old stinky, nasty cage. Where y'all going? What if I had snacks and you're running from me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. And to kick this off, we have got to clean out this chicken coop. I know a lot of people just layer and layer uh, all your pine shavings in there and eventually they'll pull them out once a year, twice a year. These chickens have been here for quite a few months, but as you can see, I have really too many birds in too small of a coop. And we're only doing this for just a little while longer because we're about to build a much larger coop at the other end of the building. That's gonna be an awesome upcoming DIY project. So they're spoiling their coop a lot quicker than would normally happen. It's starting to get a little stinky. I'm tired of layering it. I wanna get a fresh, clean start. So that's how we're gonna kick this episode off. Mm-hmm, what's going on? So as y'all can see in the cage, feathers everywhere, the pine shavings aren't very clean and they're quite deep. Now the good news is all of this can be turned to compost. So I wanna get it scooped out in the tractor bucket and I'll just keep layering this and all the future animal waste that we get in one particular spot on the property, allowing it to break down. And eventually we'll have us a nice compost pile. If you come look inside their coop, man, it's quite dirty too but there's a bunch of gold in there, compost gold. So we gotta get that cleaned out as well. I've had a lot of people ask me how I was planning on cleaning out this coop because it's, well, it's just not a design that you can walk into. It's actually quite easy. I'm gonna try to just rake it out with a shovel. I think I can get it clean quick and easy. Otherwise, I can take just a few screws out that's holding this uh, actual run portion down, pull it completely out of the way, and I get full access to this. But obviously the chickens need to be in the coop and locked up or they'll go running everywhere on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out of the coop. These chickens are wondering what on earth I am doing. So I have found that these chickens do not like, well, say garden utensils like this, it kind of spooks them. So I'm just gonna use this to make them go up into the actual coop itself. They'll go in there because they consider that a safe space. And then I can go close the door and work out here, do what I need to do. Get your butt back in there. Come on, get in there. You messed up my plan, it was looking so good. Come on, chicken mighty, get back in there. Okay, now we've got them locked up in chicken jail. Alright, so now I can start with cleaning all of this out. Look at how much shavings they have raked just to the outside. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put their feeder back in, but I am not gonna put their water in because whenever I start putting all the pine shavings in here, you can bet it'll wind up dirty and everything, especially once they get to scratching like crazy. Now it's time to start layering some pine shavings in. And I had a lot of people ask me about what type of shavings that I use. Pine shavings, I do not use cedar shavings because I have heard that is not good for chickens, I guess for their respiratory system, the dust that could be in the shavings itself. The other thing that I have discovered is the OCD in me wants to spread all this out, make it look nice and good, but I try to leave big clumps and mounds in here because the chickens love to come in and spread a lot of this out themselves. So I'll just loosely throw it. They're gonna come in here and do what they want with it anyways. All right, let's go ahead and let them back out. Yeah, hey, y'all like your nice new, not so stinky coop. Now as for the coop, I start with the nesting boxes. I'll actually just scoop the mess out of here, throw it right in the bottom because this coop has a removable bottom for cleaning. I really like that. And just get your hands dirty. A little chicken poop under your fingernails. Never hurt nobody. And I like to go ahead and put some shavings down 
in my nesting boxes. Even though these chickens are too young to actually lay eggs, they come in here and sleep at night. Shavings keep, well, poop and everything else from sticking to the wood, and it gives them a layer of insulation. I'm putting this about an inch plus thick. We're supposed to get a few days in the 30s this week, so I'm sure the chickens will appreciate this layer of insulation, keeping them off the cold wood that's exposed to the outside. Obviously, hay and straw and all would be an even better choice for this, but using what I got. Now, here's one feature I really like about this coop. The whole bottom comes out for cleaning, although I've got it so packed, it's probably gonna be difficult to get out. And here we go, more compost. All right, last but not least, get another light layer of pine shavings down in here. All right, last but not least, whenever I do a cleaning out, and actually before I do cleaning outs, every so often I'll come out here and put what's called diatomaceous earth in the coop itself. And if you're not familiar with this, it's an actual, you know, earth mineral that's mined and it's food grade, food safe. It's an excellent product to put in your gardens. I've been putting it in my garden for years and it's just a powdered form of a mined mineral. But on a microscopic level, all that white dust is extremely abrasive. It's not harmful to you and me. It's not harmful to our animals but it is harmful to bugs, especially one with hard exoskeletons. Because what happens is this mineral, as the bugs, say mites, ticks, anything like that, get in the cage itself, fleas, that's another good one. So as they walk around in this stuff, it gets underneath that hard exoskeleton and it's so abrasive to them, it actually cuts them open and supposedly dehydrates them, kills them that way. But it again, it's just not harmful to a large animal at all. So I'm about to go through here, dust this entire area, also, I put a little pan in here for the chickens with grit and dirt in it, and I usually go ahead and dump some of this in that as well because the chickens will go dust bathe just like most ground birds do, and they'll get that sand and diatomaceous earth all up on them and their feathers, and that really helps with certain types of bugs that could potentially get on them. So this is a very safe way to treat your chicken coop. And just so happens most of these large bags come with this little puff duster right here that I just filled up. You just Press it and it puffs powder out. So now I can dust the cage itself. Now, as you can see, these chickens are going to town. It's driving them crazy. Trying to put uh, <laughs> all the pine shavings where they want them. So as they come fluff the pine shavings to do everything else, they'll get this diatomaceous earth on them and move it around the cage. All right, y'all have fun fluffing this thing up. Get your water back in here. Okay, and since they were so cooperative, I'll give them one of their favorite meals, or snacks, I should say, dried mealworms. All right, here we go, chickens. It's always funny when they eat right out of your hand. Sometimes they'll peck the fire out of you though. All right, I won't give them much more. This is actually one of Tiffany's favorite things to do. Every afternoon when she gets home from work, she'll be home and well, it'll be a few more hours. So I won't feed them too many. She loves coming out here, feeding them and just watching them.
All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap this episode up. Me and Ruger's about to do a little work out here in the woods because we just had us a very nice cool snap for October. So the next video coming up will be me out here doing a little bit of work. But it's crazy to think, last mowing of the year, done. We'll have more tractor work, no doubt about that. Just have a little bit more planning to do. But uh, man, fall is here. Winter's here before you know it. Christmas and then a new year. My, how time flies when you start getting older, huh? So thank y'all so much for watching. Trust me, we do have some stuff going on in the background at the house. I just got off the phone with an engineer tweaking a few things for the stairs and the loft. That build's coming. And while I'm waiting on some metal to show up and some approvals from the engineer yourself, we're gonna do a little more work out here in the woods. Get y'all another video. Catch you on the next one.